Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, from near Lano, Texas. This is Rusty78609, my second full day at the uh, RV park near Lano, near the golf course and the river and the lake and all that stuff. It's pretty nice, i got to tell you. Yeah, I slept good again last night, and uh, you can hear the birds chirping just like I could at, uh, in, uh, at my home, other home base. And I, hadn't even, I was going to go back by there yesterday and just check, but... I didn't. I mean, that door's closed, so let's go. Anyway, good morning. It's a beautiful day, and I'm still alive in my 2019 Casita Freedom Deluxe. It's 17 feet of uh, happiness for me. 84 square feet on the inside. I've been a long-time, full-time RVer. And today, surprisingly, is the first day of the rest of your life. Isn't that amazing? It's the day after yesterday, the day before tomorrow. It's now that's always the scary part of life it's now <clears throat> but anyway make it a good one guys i plan to yesterday afternoon or yesterday evening actually i went walking on the golf course right at sunset nobody was on the course beautiful evening yeah it was really nice I, it's really pretty here i mean there's so many different things i can do and it's real convenient i don't have to get in my pickup and go drive somewhere it's just all right here you know and so that's it's uh, it's got a lot of pluses and uh, as far as minuses, uh, for me, I, I don't see any. Uh, for me, the, it, you know, I'm pretty easy going, you know, I mean, I'm pretty flexible. So, but anyway, hey Google, what's the temperature in Bangor, Maine? <clears throat> the current temperature in Bangor is 53 degrees. With a high of 67. Hey Google, what's the temperature in Butte, Montana? The current temperature in Butte is 44 degrees. With a high of 52. Hey Google, what's the temperature in Fairbanks, Alaska? The temperature in Fairbanks right now is 48 degrees. With a high of 74. The high, right now it's about 68 outside here and the high today will be 95, 96. And it'll be that same way for the whole week, except tomorrow is supposed to be a little bit warmer. It's supposed to get up near 100. So. Yeah, we're, we're getting into the summer in Texas, which is not unusual, and it'll be like that for July and August and most of September. So that's the way it is every year, so it's not a surprise. Also, yesterday, I set up my Wii Boost. I got the antenna affixed to the RV, and the reason I did that, even though the when I first got here, for some reason, the, the signal was really good, and uh, yesterday morning it was not really good, but it is now. It's about, oh, I don't know, this morning, I think it was 35 megabits down and 15 up. I mean, it won't be that way at noon, but it's that way now. But, uh, yeah, so anyway, this is uh, Trenton Clump. That's a grinning it. That's Tweety Bird over here. And that is a uh, teddy bear with my name on it, Popeye Olive Oil from the uh, Popeye Cartoons. And this is Betty Boop from the 1930s, Mr. Bill from the 1970s, and that is... A sticker with a jalapeno on it and it says uh, native Texan and anyway this is a million dollar bill a thousand yen note five euro note two dollar bill mr. Bojangles he'll dance where there's a little string you can pull and he goes poof, 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 like that anyway I got two of those old bananas left now I got some new ones already and I've got uh, olive oils bras right there and I've got a smiling face with a nose ears and hair I put on it and that's a saying that says life is better than a casita. Is it? It is for me. Hey, Google, tell us a joke. How do you make a tissue dance? Put a little boogie in it. <laughs> hey, Google, tell us a mouse joke. What do cats eat for breakfast? Mice Krispies. We've heard that about 7,000 times, but be that as it may... Why do I ask the temperature in Bangor, Maine, Butte, Montana, and Fairbanks, Alaska? No reason. I've never been to any of them. But I, I, I do it because I want to, mainly. Anyway, this is, uh, let me get over here and get some comments loaded out here. We, have, we had, on all my videos yesterday, over 600 comments. <laughs> so you know I ain't going to get to all of them. So if you have an important question that you think I can help you with, Send me an email to rusty78609 at yahoo.com. I do scan the uh, comments every day, trying to find uh, specific questions and so forth, and I respond to a lot. But, uh, yeah, uh, 
it's just uh, it's just so many. But I do appreciate all the you know pats on the back and you know even the even even the constructive criticism. You know, sometimes somebody will say the sounds not good or something. You know, and that's good to know. Anyway, this is uh, KC Blues to Sherwood. Very beautiful place. Thank you. Moya King, that's on the trike man stuff. Moya King, what a gorgeous place to live. I love the big trees by the lake. Yeah, me too. I go down there and sit in the shade every now and then uh, just to get out of the sun because it's hot here. Trike man, that was on the trike man stuff. This is uh, GH or GB Marie. Did you give up your Texas property? I haven't been on for a while to see some of your past videos if you explained earlier. I sold them both. <clears throat> Mark Reynolds, thanks for sharing this. You're welcome. That's driving around Alpine, Texas. That was a good... Yeah, that's a pretty little town. I thought about going back out there and looking for a spot. But, you know, man, you can spend your life looking. You know, you can. And, and then, you know, but if you get a spot that seems to work for you, give it a chance anyway. Eric Moore, cool trike riding video, Rusty. Or, uh, says the park looks very nice. It, it, it does. Thank you, Eric. This is... Uh, I can get some more loaded out here. They, they've got a new setup here on on the YouTube, and uh, anyway, you, you got to use it or you don't use anything. This is Trev Cal. How do you think the Liberty would perform on a golf course? Oh, it'd be all right. It'd be great if it was flat. I mean, it wouldn't make any difference if it had hills. It it would go 18 holes easy, no problem. Mostly flat, but some hills. I do weigh 220. I have some par paralysis in my legs, but enjoy disc golf. Uh, all I would tell you is just try it. You know what I mean? I, I can't really say. Uh, Gary Ferguson, uh, we all been waiting for Rusty's headquarters, for our Rusty's headquarters. In a few years, every one of the, those spots will be filled with a 2019 Casita Freedom Deluxe with swivel chairs, minus the microwave and awning. <laughs> Maybe so. Thank you, Gary. Uh, this is Pampered Camper. Anyway, he likes the place. That's good. He said, I would love a place like your land. I'm looking at retiring up that way. Would you recommend your area or another? I wouldn't recommend anything to you, Pampered. you got to find your own way. <clears throat> Rob Talent, Rusty, in your opinion, have most of the winter Texans headed back home by now? Oh, yeah, they're all gone. The ones that are going back home have gone for sure. A few of them waited because they... There were they couldn't find a place to camp on the way back home, and uh, but they're gone now. Yeah, this is not winter Texans in here. Uh, there may be some people from up north living here full time, but uh, probably. Well, I don't know what percentage. I'm not even going to guess, but a, a large percentage of these people have been here for years, and you know once they get a spot here, they don't leave. Uh, Rob Talon. Oh, I've already read that. Uh, Gary Ferguson, just a little slice of heaven, Rusty. Those big oaks are just lovely. Not too many places left like like that left. Seven dollars for tent camping. That's a great deal. Yeah, that's on. That's down at the city park. You can tent camp there for seven dollars a night. And there is water available, and there are restrooms. Uh, Ken three zero eight zero nine one one. Very nice place, Rusty. You've done it again. C congrats. Well, thank you very much. Little Kittle. <laughs> Looks like looks like a great place to visit or live. Here's a good video about Lano. They left a link to a video about Lano. Yeah, I've watched several things about Lano. I've looked at all the, you know, statistics and demographics and stuff. And it, it's it's my kind of town. That's all I can tell you. It's a, it, you know, you get it's a small town. It's a small Texas town. So you're gonna probably run into some people that you might consider narrow-minded because they've lived here all their life, and that's all they know. And, uh, you know, they'll talk a lot about hunting and hunting and hunting and hunting, <laughs> you know, J.P. Merrick. So, nice area, Rusty. Thank you, J.P. This is uh, Leanne49. Rusty, you hit the jackpot finding that place, as it is real nice. I like the idea. It's close to the river. Hopefully there is an H-E-B close by. Enjoy your weekend. Yeah, it's 22, <clears throat> 22 minutes to the parking lot of the H-E-B from where I'm sitting right now. There's a, an H-E-B in Kingsland, Texas that has, it's a smaller one, and then there's an H-E-B Plus in Marble Falls, which is 12 miles farther. If I, if I really need to go do some serious shopping, then there's some items I can't find in Kingsland, but once a month or so I'll go to 
Marble Falls. I will. And there's a there's a Lowe's grocery store here. Uh, they're a little pricey, but uh, they do have everything that uh, a, per a person would need. And gasoline in this town is five cents higher than it is uh, in in Kingsland. About it, it sometimes it's fifteen cents. It varies. Uh, anyway, super nice. Oh, this is CB. Super nice, Rusty. You landed well, guy. Thank you, CB. This is Lorraine Spence. Very nice campgrounds. Yeah, they are. They keep them very well uh, maintained. They do. Janice Brown. Uh, love the trike ride. Beautiful place. I could live there gorgeous. Yeah, I could too, and I am for a while. Paid for a month, and that, when that month's up, what am I going to do? I don't know. Scotty Thompson, cool video talk, Rusty. How many stores are there in Lano? How many stores are there in Lano? I have no clue, Scotty. Not many. <clears throat> uh, cool comment called. It's a small town, Scotty. 3,500 people. <clears throat> this is CDB. Your little chunk of heaven, Rusty. Beautiful spot. Good for you. Every bit of it. D. Well, thank you, D. Thanks. This is Brenda Sweet Apple. It's a beautiful spot. No work, just relax with a game of golf. You can't hardly relax playing golf. That's sad. You're, you know, golf is supposed to be for retired people to relax. Nobody relaxes on a golf course. <laughs> anyway, or take the shade under one of those mature trees. Just breathtaking. Enjoy your little place of paradise. Yeah, I plan to. I plan to be here and enjoy it and just relax and see what happens. Because right now, <clears throat> it's kind of iffy on the state parks in Texas and New Mexico. And other states. I'll tell you this, though. The ones that are open for overnight camping in Texas are full. I mean, for the whole summer. Just because I checked uh, Davis Mountain State Park, and I, I could not find any campsite <coughs> for one week for the whole summer. Margaret Mondrowski. This place you moved into is beautiful. If I lived there, I would pick a, pack a picnic lunch and go to the river a few times a week. I do like other site you may be moving into, more privacy. About the geese, my daughter got bitten by one. They can be, a, they can, well, they're not being mean. They're just protecting themselves. They can be mean. Little so, little so and SOS. Have a great day. Thank you, Margaret. Yeah, the, the geese are, you know, if you don't bother them, they're not going to bother you. But if you get close to them, then the old gander got to do his job. Uh, this is uh, Nick Nomad Jack. He says, nice, thank you. Avlisk, little snoozy went away only to be re resurrected as the snoozy too. Here's a video. Yeah, I watched that yesterday, Avlisk. Uh, yeah, that little snoozy. But, of course, just remember, it's all electric. And it's the, I think the biggest one they've got is like 14 feet. <clears throat> it's not very big. Diana Rickman, lovely on the uh, trike man stuff uh, down by the river. Crane operator, rusty old lucky. Boy, old lucky. I hear he found a real diamond with this part. Even with only three legs, one eye did good. Hope the gander isn't a problem. Oh, they won't be. They won't bother me. Hell, I'll just go around them. Uh, anyway, Henry Johnson, I have a very quiet generator and some people still complain i really think it's because they don't have one no henry it's not that it's it's even though your generator is quiet in the still of the night nothing is more annoying than a generator okay that's just the way it is i mean yours may and even a quiet one even the honda 2000 i or 1000 i's that are just basically like a conversation in the dead of the night when it's really still and you're watching the moon or looking at the stars and you hear Burr. it's not exactly fun but anyway th that's why you're getting complaints rip snorting looks like there's plenty to do yeah there is there's well plenty of simple things to do and that's that's all i want uh brad gray i must have missed the reason you decided to leave new mexico one day you were there and the next day poof you were gone where are you now where you are now is more scenic for sure. I would be on that river bank with a line in the water. Well, then do it, Brad. I don't fish. I don't, I, you know, you know, I would, but I'd be afraid I'd catch one. You know, <clears throat> I don't want, then you got to go to work. Debbie Weckler. Yes, this is a very pretty place. I'm happy for you. I think I will watch this again. Great deal, Rusty. 
Thank you for your video. You're welcome. Glad you enjoyed it, Deborah or Debbie. This is RG599. Home De Depot sold me reject fence panels half price. Had very little wrong with them. Well, that's interesting. I didn't know they did that. Thank you, RG1599. We'll do a few more here. <clears throat> Nathan McCarty. Rusty, those are pretty darn nice digs. If, if I didn't live 700 miles away, I'd rent a space there. Not bad, not bad at all. I don't know that they have any available, to tell you the truth, Nathan. Uh, right now, uh, I think they're slammed, particularly for the summer. This is a place people come to camp to go down on the river. This is a vacation spot for people from Houston, San Antonio, Austin, and other places because it's a it's got a little, lot of flavor for people from big cities. Uh, this is Money Matters. Uh, Rusty, at first I started at, say, buy a tiny home. After the almost $500 monthly rent, I now say stay where you are. Now, also, I did find they, they make, they actually build tiny homes here in Lano. I don't know the name of the company, but I did drive by and do a video of one yesterday that's $38,000. I'll post it later on in a few days. I got, I'm going to go by and talk to them first, let them know I'm going to do it. <clears throat> Be sure it's okay. Because what happens on those tiny home videos when I post them, you know, there, there's a couple of those that got over a million views, you know. And, uh, you know, what happens, these small businesses, <laughs> they, get a, they get a lot of orders. Well, we'll see. I'll let them know, though. I'll, I'll let them know. We'll, I'll see if I can't work something out. No, it's a beautiful uh, tiny home, too. You're going to be very impressed with this one. Uh, anyway, this is Steve Brown. Wow, I think you have found paradise, golf course, river, city park, 300 bucks. I would never leave. Uh, well, I, I plan to be here a while. We'll see. I mean, I, I'm not going to say how long because, you know, the one thing about living, there's actually two things I really enjoy about having an RV. One is every time I wake up, I'm in the same place, okay, on the inside. Then if I decide I don't like the place I'm in on the outside, I can go, you know what I mean, and go somewhere anywhere else, you know what I mean? So anyway, this is Outcast 1. Wow, what a great place. You really outdid yourself on this find. If I was there, I would be doing some fishing. Enjoy your new place. Well, thank you very much. This is M Mr. Shaft. Enjoy, thank you. This is Julie uh, Russell, lovely. See, they're all positive. I mean, they're all everybody liked that deal. You know, what I mean, uh, brush bum. Hello, Rusty. That's a a Russian gander and three Canadians out for a stroll. They're, that's a nice park. Take care. Well, I'm glad to know that. Thank you, brush bum. We'll do three more and then we'll shut her down here. Anne Marie Klein. There's no place like home. There's no place like home. There's no place like home. Dorothy. <laughs> There's no place like home. Okay, the same person. There's no, and she, they duplicated your comments. What happened? Uh, Mike Fortune. Hi, Rusty. It's beautiful. The best of luck. Stay safe. Thank you, Mike. Dick three six three one. Glad to know that there are not any trashy poor people in there. Well, I didn't. I, I hope I didn't imply that. You know, you can be poor, and 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 neat. Okay. You know, there, there's no, there's a lot. All the people here are nice, and, and I don't know any poor, trashy people. I, I mean, I mean, I know some people that are trashy that may not be poor. Okay, last one, Pamela Chandler, beautiful trike ride, Rusty. Love your new resting place. You're so sweet and friendly to everyone you see. Well, yeah, that's the way it is in Texas. You say hello. Anyway, here we got Steve G. Doubt you'll find a better community to stay in. Few tourists stay very long. That's true. But anyway, guys, from Central Texas, USA, on a beautiful day, uh, a hot day, but a nice. Uh, this is Rusty78609. I'm, of course, I'm going to do the, I'm going to do a video on WeBoost, showing you how it's affixed to the uh, casita, and then I'll do a mail call because I got a few letters I need to respond to. But anyway, thumbs up, Carpe Diem, adios, bye bye, buy anything you want, anytime. But if you think about it, use the link to Amazon products in the description of all of my videos. Why? Doesn't cost you one penny. If you want to fool with it, fine. If you don't, don't worry about it. What else? Drink plenty of water. Three or four quarts a day won't hurt you. It's good for you. It'll help you avoid gout, kidney stones, and it'll also help you lose weight because you'll be full of water and you will not want to eat so much. And eating less is the only way to really lose weight. I even need to do that myself. And then what else? Take deep breaths. Breathe in deeply. 
Hold it for a few seconds and then breathe out slowly. Why? What does that do? That relieves stress. Relieving stress lowers your blood pressure and, and it also does other things. So do that several times a day. And then what else? Stretch, stretch, stretch. Swivel, swivel, swivel. Walk, walk, walk. Pedal, pedal, pedal. Exercise your body once or twice a day. You'll never regret that. You'll live longer, healthier, and you may feel better, or you'll live healthier for the longer, period. And, and it may, you'll, feel better, you'll feel better immediately after you exercise. And then what else? Stand guard at the door of your mind. Do not let neg negative Nancy or ne negative Ned get inside of your head. In other words, keep out the negativity. There is so much of it nowadays. It'll drive you to drinking. Anyway, uh, yeah, this is your, your head, your frontal lobes, your consciousness. All those little neural networks up in there are forming your thoughts, you. So put in good ingredients. You'll feel better. You'll sleep better. You'll be a better person. You'll, you may even be happy. Wouldn't that be hell? And then what else? Accentuate the positive, eliminate the negative, and enjoy your life one day or one moment at a time. And we'll talk again later. Adios. Hasta luego. Vaya con Dios. Carry on. Aloha. Aloha means goodbye or hello, either way. But anyway, enjoy your life one day at a time, folks. I'm going to enjoy mine. When I get through here, I'll eat. Then I'll go take my walk, which is it's beautiful down by the river in the mornings. I mean, it's just, there's nobody there. You know, you just by yourself, and it, the, the river's like glass. Anyway, adios, amigos. Bye-bye.